Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to go over installing Visual Studio and setting it up for a very simple project. This is something you're going to do a bunch. So, you know, it's good to, to get our first project going. Um, so, if you want to find Visual Studio, um, the, the easiest thing to do is to just Google for it Visual Studio. And here it is it's this top thing that comes up. I would go here to this downloads page right here. Um, you can also go to visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads. I mean, that's where it's taking me, uh, but I find this easier. So these are the different versions of Visual Studio. There are basically five that you'll see. Um, the five different versions are uh, this guy. So basically this whole section represents the current state of Visual Studio. This whole section represents uh, is for Visual Studio Code, which is its own thing. And then this section is for preview versions of Visual Studio. So specifically, um, what we want is we want this guy. We want Community Edition. And we want this button right here, this free download button right here. So Community Edition is the basically the free version of Visual Studio. It's going to have everything that we need. Professional is used for usually larger companies, uh, companies that need the access to those features, to you know extra analysis tools and things like that. Um, the Enterprise Edition has even more, has all the bells and whistles and all that kind of stuff. If you're really interested, you can always go to Compare Editions and see all the different changes and things like that. Everything you're going to need for the entire degree is going to be found in Community Edition. So Community Edition is, is pretty solid. If you happen to be on site, uh, we have, I think, Enterprise Edition installed on all of the computers in the lab. We, it might be professional, I actually don't remember. Um, it sort of changes. So uh, you'll get access to that kind of stuff. But again, uh, you know, in the time that we've, that we've been here, we just don't use those features. That's not used except for usually larger teams. Visual Studio Code, which you'll see here on the right, is its own thing. And I only mention it because it can cause confusion. Um, because people might think, oh, what I want is to code So in Visual Studio. So I'll get Visual Studio Code. Well, um, it's it's doesn't really support or isn't usually used for C++ development. It's kind of its own beast. Um, uh, it's used, uh, I've seen it used for like web development. It's highly modifiable. So sometimes people use it as just a text editor that they can then kind of modify to do all sorts of things. So uh, I don't bother using it personally. Um, Visual Studio 2017 or Visual Studio, whichever version that we're on, um, that's the one that's used for game development and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we want. Um, this guy down here, uh, the preview version, you know, right now you're going to see this preview version as Visual Studio 2019. Um, you know, this will be whatever the current preview version is. You know, if you happen to be watching this and Visual Studio 2019 is already out, then this will be the next one, you know, 2020 or probably 2021 or 2022. <clears throat> Um, so what you want is this thing here, this guy, right? This is going to be the latest, greatest version. It may not be 2017, it may be 2019 or whatever, but you just want to grab this guy. Okay, so once we have this, let's just download this real fast. It's going to take us to this whole thing. It's going to tell us all sorts of stuff. Hey, here's how you build your first little thing. Doesn't matter. Um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run this file. So run, off it goes. It's going to probably ask us stuff like this. Um, it's going to run this installer. Uh, yours will probably take longer. So I already have it installed. So, um, you know, obviously I'm seeing different things, but you know, it'll do this for a little while. Once this is done, you're going to be taken to the actual installation page. Now, especially recently, um, the installation has gotten kind of complicated. So I'll walk you briefly through it. You won't see this page. This page you'll see only if you have it already installed. Um, I don't think you'll see this page at all. Um, I see it because it's already installed. You will see this. So this will generally be what, what you can go. And I'll just maximize this guy so we can kind of see it. It's sort of hard to see, so I'll zoom in. 
Um, so they've kind of bundled things up into these workloads. You can, if you want to, go to individual components, and I'll kind of zoom this guy back out so we can see how crazy this is. Like, this is nuts, right? To go through all this stuff and choose the very specific things that you need. So I highly recommend just going here to workloads. And these are the things that you need. Um, I would install .NET desktop development. I would install desktop development with C++. You need this, absolutely. Um, I would install Python development if you want to do any Python stuff. And there's a class, uh, LA201, that does it, although it uses a different thing. Um, I recommend this. This is optional. You don't need to do this. I have it because I enjoy doing Python development in Visual Studio. Um, <clears throat> game development with C++. Um, game development with Unity. Those are the ones that you really need. Um, I have other things installed because I work on other types of projects. But those are the things that you need. .NET desktop development, desktop development with C++, game development with Unity, uh, game development with C++, and that is it. Those should be the only ones that you need. You don't need any mobile development or any of this other stuff. Here's the thing, if you miss something, it's not a big deal. You just go back and, and just rerun the installer and go to the modify section and come in here and add the thing that you need. So it's not a big deal if you miss something. The things that you absolutely positively need is desktop development with C++. You need that for this class. Other stuff is, you know, somewhat optional. Okay, <clears throat> once you've done that, you know, you hit your install and it's gonna take a while to install. Uh, it's probably gonna be something like five to 10 gigabytes. So prepare yourself. Once it is installed, what's gonna happen is it'll run and you'll see probably not anything like this but it'll be somewhat similar. It'll be the sort of lighter version. I just had this open because it will kind of look like this probably. Um, it'll probably be a lighter theme. It usually defaults to the lighter theme and so on. So this is where we kind of have to have the talk about how every single developer that I've ever known, including myself, has a very different setup for Visual Studio. Visual Studio is very customizable. You can move windows around and dock them in different places set up different color schemes and so on. And I have my own color scheme and I have my own setup. And it's gonna be different than what you're gonna see and it's different than what the default is. Every developer has their own thing. If there are other instructors and other people who are doing videos that you see uh, and videos that you listen to throughout the course, they'll probably have a different setup as well. So the thing to pay attention to is, and, and what we'll always try and call out are like, what are the buttons that we're hitting and where, what menus are we going to? because you'll always be able to see that kind of stuff. So just be aware of that. You know, some of the colors and things may just look different, but it's the same tool, it's the same program. Okay, and so that's it. Visual Studio should generally be installed. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about building our first little application. We're gonna build a little Hello World program.